Cyrus has more than 15 YouTube channels and about 3 million subscribers. Our main channel has 1.854 or 1,854,000 plus subscribers. Now, they've been gaming the system for a long time to shut down nationalistic or patriotic media, saying we're right-wingers, saying we're extremists. Well, it doesn't matter who we are, we have a right to free speech, don't we, as long as we don't violate the rules. Well, now Zuckerberg has come out and said he's going to restrict conservative news like Communist China does, calling it fake news. And Google, that owns YouTube, has announced, and they've done it now two weeks ago, that they're going to basically make you click the bell in your notifications. We're going to show you how to do that, or you won't get all the channels that you've subscribed to, and you won't get the videos. Now, why are they doing this? It's more than just censoring. They want you to see the videos that they feed you below and beside the videos you're looking at that are corporately sponsored so they make more money. They're taking the you out of YouTube. So we're in this information war and it's more important than ever that you promote the videos, that you like the videos, and that you send them on to others. Because the answer to the attempt to shut us down and restrict free speech that's openly now happening is for us to redouble our efforts. We're winning the culture war as true classical liberals that made this country great. We're restoring the Renaissance. So again, if you want to get our videos, so you can make your decision whether you want to see them or not. After all, that's why, why you subscribed. YouTube's had this since they started 12 years ago or whatever it was and they're fundamentally changing it so you don't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is promoting fake news and trash news and establishment news. It's killing real independent news. But we the people, by taking action, can break the back of this system. So please click on the bell so you get the notifications and so you get in your feed the videos and channels you've subscribed to. I'm Alex Jones for InfoWars.com. 34 days until the historic inauguration of the 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. But the globalists don't intend to let that happen. Their evil is only exceeded by their arrogance. I'm Alex Jones. It's Friday, the 16th day already, hard to believe, of December 2016. We're going to be live here for the next four hours. Everything the globalists do is basically by incrementalism. What they do against the public is, and they've announced... Zuckerberg met with the Communist Chinese 14 times we know of the last two years, admittedly on how to set up the new censorship. They decided to go on the fake news model that the Communist Chinese pioneered 20 years ago, starting in 1996 with massive internet controls. Now you'd think that'd be big news here in the US, Communist Chinese model to be used in the United States. In fact, even four years ago, Australia tried to pass these laws, but it narrowly failed, and the headlines in the Major papers in Australia were Chinese-style net censorship coming to Australia. Web IDs, rating systems, internet taxes, you name it. Licensing of journalists. That's now what's being announced here in the United States. And Zuckerberg has come out already in Europe. They are blocking InfoWars, block, blocking Drudge Report. Uh, Google Chrome is blocking InfoWars or telling you about where you're going to a fake, dangerous, hate-filled site. Breitbart, again, is having its apps kicked off Apple. It's being put in the same databases. We've been kicked off of uh, Google Store. And, and, of course, you could sue them on any of these fronts, but they don't care. They've got government backing. They've got the federal judges, they believe. This is really an unprecedented time. So last week, Paul Watson wrote about the announcement that was in the BBC, the Associated Press, you name it, and, of course, the detractors shed more fake news. InfoWars claims it's going to be shut down in 24 hours. No. You go to our articles and the mainstream articles, it says we're giving all the major internet platforms, service providers, websites from Facebook to Twitter to Google to YouTube, its subsidiary, 24 hours to announce your plan of how you're going to censor the alt-right and specifically listed yours truly. Now, that's a huge sensational development. They admitted they're using a Washington Post list that the Washington Post says they got from an anonymous website. Two weeks before, it was a female professor. I just point out she is a cat lady and on her profile wears pink and purple glasses. That is her curriculum vitae. George Soros is now financing the group that is running the flagging and, quote, burying. I mean, look at Breitbart. People say it exaggerates. It's not even, it's not even hardcore enough. George Soros Finances Group helping Facebook flag disputed stories. We read to you from Facebook's press release yesterday that Drudge was linked to that where they said we're going to, quote, bury them, and they showed an image of the woman with her cat. Can we put Paul Watson's article up where it actually shows her in her apartment, and every time they go, 
this is the woman that will control you. They show her this, this fat lady with a cat. No judge, no jury, no nothing, but Snopes has a cat. Well, I've got two, so I trump you. And they put this lady on TV, this far leftist in California with her obese cat. And I'm not against the fact they're obese. The point is, it's just give me a break. And then her weird moon, moon beam, you know, uh, space cadet husband. And this is the guy. CNN goes, this is who debunks. This, no more judges, no more juries, no more nothing. You're just banned because he has a Garfield cat. I'm not even joking. Look at this article out of the Daily Beast. Did Facebook just kickstart the real info war? We have a website waiting. It's being built. We've been a little busy with the election. It was supposed to launch a month ago. It's called NewsWars.com. It's magazine style, and it deals with the attack on free speech. That's why I put out the, the, the petition last week that got 100,000 signatures that we've now printed up. It's in the warehouse next to me. I'm going to shoot a video later today about it. We're going to deliver it next week to Trump Tower. I guess we need to get a million signatures, too. But the point is we're organizing a movement of class action litigants and others who've been barred from going to sites, who've had your First Amendment violated, or who have had your website blocked. I'm going to start filing lawsuits to defend the First Amendment. What am I supposed to do? And the media and the David Brock White House-funded, Soros-funded outfits, Media Matters came out last night and said, oh, look, he's going to sue Facebook. You better believe I am. And I'm going to sue the Washington Post, and I'm going to sue anybody else that violates my First Amendment and says I should be delisted and says that I should be silenced and a freaking gag stuck in my mouth. If you want to shut me up, you've got to sue me into oblivion, and you've got to prove it. And that doesn't mean Megyn Kelly editing audio tapes of me. See, I could take the Bible one of the longest books in written history. And the paper-thin pages, and I could take those hundreds and hundreds of thousands of words, and I could cut them all out, kind of like those magnets you put on your refrigerator with different words. You can say whatever you want with them. You throw those on the wall, they don't say anything. But you can arrange them however you want. They are now going, and I see mainstream news articles every day where there'll be one word or two words or three words, and they'll even put them in quotes but have it all cobbled together where I'm saying the wildest stuff you ever heard in your life. Then NPR and others take that and read it on air, strung together, where it sounds like it's real. Next level deception. Next level. Megyn Kelly has been caught taking a November 4th show before anyone had ever talked about Pizzagate, before I'd ever heard of it. When I first heard about it, the New York Times, the Washington Post were focusing on it, saying, you know, it's this one pizza place and, and distracting from the entire tens of thousands of emails of criminal activity, and clear criminal activity, uh, by a bunch of Democrats about jobs, money, payoffs, calling the public scum, talking about laundering money. Oh, this is illegal. Screw it. Let's do it. And then a lot of other weird stuff I'll see at the Aleister Crowley event where, you know, there's going to be lots of blood and semen for you to drink. I mean, just whacked out stuff that, that's incontrovertible. How do you divert from that if you've been caught with $65,000 of hot dogs for the president? That's male prostitutes. Hands down, that's what it's known, code for by the FBI, Urban Dictionary, uh, law enforcement publications. There's definitely code words for female and male prostitutes and $65,000 in one day of succulent hot dogs. Believe me, there's not any hot dogs that cost $65,000 unless they're a gay porn star. So, and that's a lot of them too, folks. I've gone and looked at the numbers. They, I mean, Obama must have had at this party like 10, 15 male escorts alone. Notice though, the media won't touch the succulent $65,000 hot dog story. I've been covering succulent hot dogs. I've been covering the children will be ready for you in the hot tub for your entertainment. They're well behaved, but still they're children. And... Is this really good walnut sauce? Because last time it wasn't that good. Is this, are these really good walnuts? Because I like those on my spaghetti. Walnut is known code word for dark-skinned escorts. Now, 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 maybe some of this is accidental. Maybe it's being confused. Okay, whatever. Not tens of thousands of these things. I'm going to skip this network break. This is too important. So all of this is going on. All of this is unfolding. They're trying to start a war with Russia. They're trying to bring our republic down while the Chinese seize one of our ships in international waters. And what is the desperate, collapsing, mainstream, corporate media doing? Well, they're calling for us to be shut down and censored because they can't compete with us because their credibility's collapsed, the government's credibility's collapsed, and they want to hold on to power. So you're seeing an attempt at a soft coup 
which is becoming a hard coup against the First Amendment, against the free press, and everything that goes with it, a federalization of the churches to the 501c3 and the faith-based initiative, total violation of the First Amendment, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, but the left doesn't mind because they're taking it over. State-run religion. The Pope says he's for state-run religion uh, in, in China, meeting with the president of China last or two weeks ago. Unprecedented stuff's going on. And now they're trying to start a war with Russia, having all their pundits from Oberman to Maddow saying we're at war with Russia, we need physical war with Russia, Hillary has a doctrine to attack Russia, the Pentagon has a new doctrine under Obama to hit Russia if they claim under cybersecurity we've had any breaches, no proof needed. All these intelligence agencies are coming out saying Russia didn't hack us. The Attorney General's saying it because there's no proof. They're covering their butts right now. That doesn't matter, does it? Now there's the headline, Russia-U.S. move past Cold War to unpredictable conflict. So that's what's currently happening, and they're trying to start a war. I'm going to go ahead and go to this break because I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to launch into Megyn Kelly caught in a gargantuan, mega-massive lie against our viewers. Like, so I have plenty of time. I'll do that at the bottom of the hour. But this isn't about Alex Jones being attacked. It's about setting up the First Amendment and trying to bring it down and at the same time trying to say that all press that's anti-war or that wants detente and all media that wants to stop the jihadis with Russia, that we're all supposedly Russian agents. This is all pure garbage. As I said, we're going to go ahead and go to break. And when we come back, I'm going to launch into some of the other news that's coming up. Right through December 17th, the last day that we can guarantee you'll get your order before Christmas in the United States, we're offering store-wide free shipping. And on top of that, some of the biggest discounts of the year. 30% off Living Defense Parasite Cleanse, 50% off Colloidal Silver, Silver Bullet, and free shipping. That is just an incredible deal. Brain Force Plus, now with 20% more in each bottle and 30% off. 1995 can't beat that deal. Winter Sun, Vitamin D3, 25% off. Survival Shield, X2, Nascent Iodine, again, an amazing 30% off. Bio True Selenium, 30% off, and that's just some of the specials. Check them out today at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free. The great crew will answer your questions, tell you about some of the other specials, and take your order if you'd like. 888-253-3139. InfoWars has more than 15 YouTube channels and about 3 million subscribers. Our main channel has 1.854 or 1,854,000 plus subscribers. Now, they've been gaming the system for a long time to shut down nationalistic or patriotic media, saying we're right wingers, saying we're extremists. Well, it doesn't matter who we are, we have a right to free speech, don't we, as long as we don't violate the rules. Well, now Zuckerberg has come out and said he's going to restrict conservative news like Communist China does, calling it fake news. And Google, that owns YouTube, has announced, and they've done it now two weeks ago, that they're going to basically make you click the bell in your notifications. We're going to show you how to do that, or you won't get all the channels that you've subscribed to and you won't get the videos. Now, why are they doing this? It's more than just censoring. They want you to see the videos that they feed you below and beside the videos you're looking at that are corporately sponsored so they make more money. They're taking the you out of YouTube. So we're in this information war and it's more important than ever that you promote the videos, that you like the videos, and that you send them on to others. Because the answer to the attempt to shut us down and restrict free speech that's openly now happening is for us to redouble our efforts. We're winning the culture war as true classical liberals that made this country great. We're restoring the Renaissance. So again, if you want to get our videos, so you can make your decision whether you want to see them or not. After all, that's why, why you subscribe. YouTube's had this since they started 12 years ago or whatever it was and they're fundamentally changing it so you don't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is promoting fake news and trash news and establishment news. It's killing real independent news, but we the people, by taking action, can break the back of the system. So please click on the bell so you get the notifications and so you get in your feed the video.